Good evening, everybody. Thank you very much. So there seems to be this major misconception, especially here in Miami. And that misconception is that in order to have a truly meaningful, creative, constructive impact, volunteer service has to be inherently altruistic. And I want to throw that idea out the window because the fact that service can be selfish is very true and it's okay. Service can be selfish. It's not immoral or unethical to get something out of volunteer service. And I'm not just talking about that warm, fuzzy feeling. I'm talking about finding ways to be very creative while giving back to local communities. You can develop yourself. Selfish volunteers are creating a better lifestyle by giving back to local community. What they're doing is they're focusing on not only how they can impact and help support others, but what they're doing is they're building capacity within themselves to see how they can build capacity within others. The more capacity I have to serve, the more I can serve. The more of a leader that I am, the more of a leader I can be to someone else. Okay? So on being a selfish volunteer, there's a lot of easy ways to do this. You can do it very simply. Look for ways to become a volunteer. And within those opportunities, what you're going to do is you're going to look for ways to build capacity within yourself by being a volunteer. You're going to give yourself in order to build a new and better and stronger and more powerful you. And one of the cool things about this was, as I did this, just a few years ago, I would have been crying just to think that I would be on this stage. Still not so comfortable with it. But I'm much cooler with it now because what I did was I recognized a few years ago after being out of the workforce for a while, I had some, some personal health issues that I was dealing with. And when I came back from that, I realized that I was at a severe disadvantage. It was right at the point when the economy had taken a dump. Jobs were just few and far between. And what I realized I needed to do was recognize my abilities. And I wanted to do so in a safe way. So what I decided to do was take my passions, take my interest for helping others, and kind of flip that. And I said, man, you know, I want to help others, but I really need to help myself. And so what I did was I started flipping that and tweaking it and realizing there's opportunities for me to develop myself, to develop my leadership abilities, to develop my knowledge of my local community and give back at the same time. And so by becoming a volunteer, an active selfish volunteer, I was able to find creative ways to get more involved, build myself and build capacity within the local community. I went through a point where I didn't know how I was going to get along in Miami. I thought I was done with Miami, like so many people. And the cool thing was, by learning more about CSR, Corporate Social Responsibility, it's what companies are doing to give back to the local community. It's a very selfish way. When we talk about selfish volunteering, CSR is a very selfish thing. Companies are giving back to the local community, but they're doing so in a very strategic way. They're doing so because they recognize that they can build their brand within these communities by having specific set days of volunteer service in these communities where their employees are becoming more involved, but they're all wearing their branded t-shirts. They're giving back, but they're also promoting themselves at the same time. And the really cool thing about this is, is impacts are coming out of CSR through days of service that wouldn't happen otherwise, such as you see behind me. A company was able to create a park at Pablo Dorothea Park just down the street in Little Havana that wasn't there a matter of three hours prior to them showing up. And so as I started seeing and becoming more involved in some of these things as a community volunteer, not even with one of these companies, I started getting more and more excited. And I started seeing the ability to prevent this which represents the brain drain, what we're all experiencing right here in Miami, what I was experiencing right up to that point before I started becoming more involved. That brain drain, that human capital flight is when people are leaving in droves. They're fleeing Miami. They're going to Atlanta. They're going to New York. They're going to LA. They're going anywhere, everywhere except for Miami. And by doing some of these things, by playing together a little bit nicer in the sandbox, by building our capacity, by going out and meeting people at some of these volunteer opportunities, we're able to possibly prevent some of that. My final thought is you've got to take care of yourself to take care of others. It's something my mom tells me all the time and I always just thought it was cute. Oh, that's just you know something my mom says. But there's a lot of meaning behind it. And what I realized was that she was saying that I had to take care of myself, build myself so I could build capacity and, and help others. So I thank you guys very much. I appreciate it.